Hey, here's here's a quick way for a quick tutorial for slicing it. So let's just make and it's gonna also be a template tutorial. So let's say you're doing a circle image. Any day now. Okay. And let me say, let's say I'm gonna do this. I'll leave it at what it's at. Let's put it on three even. Three. and then we'll duplicate this and then let's make it white and let's just size it down I, I like to use um for mine I like for for the hole in my earrings I like to use a the quarter inch that's 0.25 or 0.3 so let me see how this looks I'm gonna go 0.3 and see how this looks that's a little big, so I'm gonna go point two five and see how that looks. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. You'll have to play around with it a little bit, and then when you make them, you can print them out on you can cut it out on regular sheets of paper so you don't waste your paper. So then I'm gonna just take and put this between these two here so I can get it. Get me a center line. Take this, and I don't put it too close to the top because it'll thin my top out. So I'll put it about center that circle. So now it looks like an earring template. And then you're going to select both of them, and then you hit slice. Once you hit slice, slices over in the corner. I don't know if you use your phone or the PC. I'm using a PC. But slice is on your um tools panel so once you hit slice it cuts that circle out of that other circle so now you have a template and you can use it for any size you want to use so let me grab an image real quick hold on okay so I grabbed two images and I'm gonna show you two ways to use these images let's go ahead and duplicate this and turn it off because that will be like your main your main um, template. You'll want to come back and use that over and over again. So let's use this one here. And let's size this up as big as the picture. Now, because this is a rectangle and this is a square, some of the people will get cut out of the picture. So if you take and put the picture where you want it, or you could put the um, send this picture to the back, actually. And then say you you know that's where you want it over here or the mom if it you would use a picture that was square basically but this is just for the tutorial so you want it over the mom and the son and then you hit um, select both of these images you have to select two images at a time to slice and then come over to your tool panel and click slice now you can move that and you can delete that and now you have a template for that earring and then you can size it I like to work with 2.5 that is an in-between earring it's not too little and it's not too big you can size it to whatever you want but now you have this earring and then you could you would cut this off let's cut this off this off and cut this off and cut this back on so you would duplicate that if you want that the, that to look the same on the back of your earring so you would need four pieces of these to make a pair of earrings so you would, if you want the front and the back to look the same you would need four of them and then you just print and cut that then after you get that printed and cut then you would make a duplicate of this come back and turn these all these off And then you want to go up to fill and make that a no fill. So this is your template. Your, so you can make your layers for that earring, that print and cut. These will fit perfect for that. So then I like to use six per earring. So you would make this, you would duplicate this 12 times. 12 times. So until you get 12, you have 12. And then you take and you hit make. And then on this um 
page right here you take your mat and you load it with black cardstock you want to use 110 pound cardstock you can use black cardstock or white cardstock if you have wood wood um, circles then you can use those as well but I would not do the whole first if you have wood circles, if you order wood circles from online, wood disc from online, don't do the hole. Just do it plain. Then you can drill the hole in later. So you would load your mat with black cardstock or white cardstock. I use Recollections and I get that at Michael's and I use 110 pound. To use 80 pound, 65 pound, you'll end up doing more layers than you want to do. So again, I use recollections 110 pound you load your mat up with the cardstock and then you just cut these circles out those are your layers or your fillers so you don't need a computer anymore I'm just using it to show you what to do next so say this is just one earring so if you have your six I take and I glue these three together. See, they're glue up perfectly because you cut the holes in them. You can line it up perfectly. And then I will glue these together. You glue them together with Mod Podge. I use the orange, the orange um, container. I think it's glossy. Yeah, I use the orange glossy container. So you glue these three together, these three together. Then let's bring that to the front so you can see. Let's bring that to the front so you can see. So after you glue these three together, then you'll take and the um glue the put my podge off here, and you'll glue that to the top as well. And then you'll take the other one and glue that to the top. And once they dry a little, you don't have to let them completely dry just right away. You want to take my podge and and um wipe over the top of the image, your image here. With, with your print and cut image, you're going to use, um, you can use Epson presentation paper, matte paper, and I think it's on sale at Office Depot right now. You can use that, or you can use um, cardstock, or you can use matte photo paper, or glossy photo paper. Matte photo paper is the best for me. I like it better. If you use glossy, you do not have to put the Mod Podge on the top of this, but some gloss, some glossy photo papers smear. So just be aware of that. But if you use the mat, like I said, take the Mod Podge and you're going to put it over the top of this. You're going to let that dry completely. After that dries, you can put UV resin on it or epoxy resin. The, the way you mix part A with part B, if you would like to. If you don't want to use resin, then you could get the um, clear spray paint. I like to use the Rust-Oleum lacquer. You could buy that at Walmart. And I like to spray it on there, give it a couple of coats and let it dry in between coats and once that's dry then on the back of these is the black cardstock you'll put my podge on them and glue them together and that's there you have your earring okay now you know you notice i had the um wu-tang um symbol you can make a um earring with the with any template any little circle that you made to make a template you can take this and you can, let's say you want to fill it with red. And we're going to make this, um, we're going to make this, we got to make it a, a print file because it's the template for the Wu-Tang. Now, it has nothing to do with this. You're going to do this just how I said. So, let's go back and get that Wu-Tang. Let's say you bought a template from someone and the Wu-Tang template, and you want to make earrings to go with the shirt you made. Okay, that's, that is fine. Let's move this to the front. Move to the front. Send to the front. Let's place your little template your, or your... um. SVG file or whatever file you have that you want to work with put it there and let's say you're going to make this black because you decided well I want to I want to um first we got to make it a no fill then let's make it black black and then let's make this a print click on the Wu-Tang 
and make it yellow and then you're going to have to also make the utang uh no fill i mean a uh, um print so all this let's group it together and cut it off because you don't need it mm -hmm. hold on let's now you can group these group and let's go ahead and size it so like i said i start with 2.5 2.5 and then you're going to duplicate that. And you're going to duplicate again. Remember, you know, in Cricut, they only, for print and cut, they only allow you 6.75 by 9.25. So on one sheet of 8.5 by 11 photo paper, you can get, um, I think it's six of these at 2.5. If you go larger, you're only going to probably get three or four, three or four of these images. But for this size, you can get six of them on the um, sheet of paper. So, on your next, once, once you did all your print and cut stuff, you hit make. And see, it's not, it didn't, let's go back and cancel. Let me see what we didn't do. Do we not group them all? Let's group. Do we not turn everything? Let me ungroup it and see. Need that to be print. We need that to be print. And we need to attach. Maybe we need to attach. I don't use this to um, design, but um, I can try to help you with what I know about this program for designing. So now let's hit make and see did that help. That help. You're going to want to attach it before you do your duplicate. So you would attach the um, SVG or whatever, however you're going to design with this. You attach it and then make earrings. I hope this helps you. Oh, you know, after you print these, um, you're going to need to come back and do your layers just like I did for the other earring. So you would just duplicate, you could just duplicate that and then turn these off. Wait, let me attach these. group and turn these off so you come back and to make your layers to go for those two earrings you can come back and grab that and then just hit no feel well it's got you well, you're gonna have to get one of the other circles or just weld it together and then uh, before we weld it we got to get this one off of this one now we can weld it well, they're all together or you would weld just one of these images and then duplicate it six times so you know you do make your layers to make sure you get six there I know there's more than six here but that's because I lock this together but you make your six layers and then you hit make and cut this out of your black card stock or white card stock you can also cut it out of glitter paper if you don't want the back to be the same. You could, like for the Wu-Tang earrings, you could cut the the fronts. You could cut, let this be the front of your earrings. So this would make, um, this would make two pair of earrings because you could cut this for the fronts of your earrings and then use these circles to cut out glitter for the back. So you would have two pair of earrings here instead of one pair of earrings. It's totally up to you. I hope this helps.